Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my Boss Tips video for Imigawa Yoshimoto from Neo 2. This guy is found at the end of the main mission, The Hidden Monsters of Okehazama. Yeah, it was close. <laughs> anyway, this is the first proper human boss fight that we have. Um, as always, this is a tips video rather than a guide. There's no just quick way to beat this guy. You're just going to have to learn his patterns. And the idea here is, here is that I'm going to uh, help you through each move and just sort of tell you how to um, respond and the best way to go about the, the fight in general. If you have any really, really good tips um, that are going to help people get through this fight, please don't hesitate to comment below and let everybody know. Let's get a discussion going so everybody can beat these guys. So this is a uh, human enemy. Most of his attacks are sword or spear based. Um, the idea with this guy is to sort of strafe and circle him. This is a really good one. When he does his charge attack like that, dodge to the left. You don't even need to dodge. You can just sort of walk around him. As you can see, I'm just walking. He has two different versions. He either pushes forward or he'll slide to the side. This elephant attack, I couldn't find a way to actually um, interrupt it. When he does it, just move, uh, just run either left or right. Don't run forwards, run left or right. There's sort of a field of electricity that appears. So this is a, a fight of attrition, basically. Um, you're just going to have to take your time, stay back from him and respond to what he does. There's his, uh, his yokai move. Again, that can be you. You can use the, uh, the counter on that one. Uh, here's the elephant one again. And there's his arrows. If he does his arrows, he will shoot them either into the sky or um, directly towards you. You want him to shoot them directly towards you. So if you move forward, if he's aiming towards the sky, he'll uh, drop back and aim towards you. This allows you to dodge. I would dodge left. It seems to be when you dodge left that you get better iframes and you're able to uh, miss them altogether easier. Um, if you hold block, like now block and then dodge, you get a better dodge as well. So take that into mind as well. So you could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy if you really wanted. If you were that good, uh, you wouldn't be watching a tips video anyway. Uh, but he is really quick. When you get up in him, he it, up right up in front of him, he is really quick to respond. So only ever sort of hit him two or three times. Uh, I think it's usually on the fourth. I think in this in this video, I do uh, I do accidentally do it. If you hit him four times, he's going to do uh, a combo break move. And he's going to put you on your ass, leaving you open to an attack. So don't do that. And his attacks really um, break your key down as well. So it's blocking is not really advised. Just trying to dodge is probably the easiest thing. So, um, yeah, there's not much point either trying to break his key down either. It's, it's just so difficult. It is going to be a, a health thing you're going to have to do. Um, is it regens so quickly for him that it's not a, a thing that's a feasible strategy really you're just going to have to back away and just wait there's a perfect example of a good move is his slam with his uh, spear here's the elephant again he loves to do the elephant and then he does quite often follow it up with the arrows uh, so you just jump in two hits and then back away wait for his next thing there's a good opportunity to get two or three in um, sometimes you can get four hits in uh, just go off the sound basically and get a feel for it um, this is one move you definitely want to block uh, not block do not block you can't block that you want to dodge back or to the side because he'll do massive damage that is an unblockable move he has one for each weapon he has a spear one and a sword one so the sword one he sort of plunges forward and with the spear one you'll see it coming overhead both of them can be dodged either left or right so it's not too bad quite slow as well and you can see them coming from a mile off so again the arrows dodge left is definitely with the that is a weird one as well with the uh, the block uh, the counter there it is quite hard when you can quite easily go past him rather than into him I seem to have that problem a couple of times I'm not sure why that was um, but maybe even just stay away from him and just let him do his thing because he has really really long pauses after his moves you see there he does that double and then he just stops <laughs> leaving him open to two or three attacks um, 
So yeah, you get feel for the attacks. You can hear the cling there, he's blocked, so you can do two. Sometimes you're able to get four in. There's three. Um, it does depend, as soon as you hear that clink, back off, because the second blocked attack will uh, will get parried and you'll get pushed back. So that's the last thing. So I'm going to use my spirit or guardian spirit. I forget the name exactly, the guardian uh, ability. Um, you can see then I didn't even really break his posture, his key down then when using that. He is really resilient, so it is sort of step away respond two hits back off like here's a great one these are the best ones so if you do back off quite often he will do that move or a, a similar variation of it all of them can be sort of dodged not even dodged just walk to the left uh, always seems to be left with most of the enemies actually it seems to be left <laughs> so here's his uh, elephant he likes to do again there is sort of a, a pattern there's a square where the electric will get you don't get here we go is the, the best one uh, don't get overexcited when his health is this low. Just stay calm and just same patterns. Nothing changes. There's no phase two or anything. So, yeah, he's going to go down in a minute. There we go. And that's him done. We are going to be fighting him again shortly in a side mission as well. That fight is exactly the same as this one. So, yeah, good luck with that. He's fairly doable. Again, just back off and respond. It seems to be the flavour with these sort of enemies. Right, that's it for this one. Again, uh, please comment below. Let people know if you have any very good tips for these bosses. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.